To create this design, you need to add a cylinder and I will go with a 24 volt cylinder. Then rotate the cylinder into 90 degree. Then go to the edit mode, turn on the extra mode, select the spaces and use the insert operation. Then press P to make a separate object. Select these faces. Go to the edge mode, select these edge loops and right click bridge edge loop and S, Y and scale it along the Y axis. This is our inner cylinder and this is the outer design. Isolate it, select this edge loop and right click bridge edge loop. Then select these faces and extrude them and move them along the X axis like this and then S, X give the value 0. Then apply the scale and apply the rotation. Then select this edge loop and control V add bevel on it. Then select everything, mesh and symmetrize. Take the symmetry along the X and Y axis. Then select these faces and press P to make a separate object. Then delete this bottom part. Dissolve this edge loop and then select this edge and press F to fill the gap. Then dissolve this edge loop and then take the symmetry, mesh and symmetrize. Then use the knife tool and create this kind of cut. Then create cut like this and then create cut like this. Then select these edges and dissolve them. Then select this edge loop and control B add bevel on it. Add a two segment bevel and shape factor should be one and give the proper bevel width. Select this edge loop and control B add bevel on it. Then select this edge loop and control B add bevel on it. Then select these words and press M merge at last. And then dissolve these edges. Then add two loop cuts. Select these words and press J to connect them. And then use the knife tool and create cut along the X axis. Then add two loop cuts here. Then select these faces and use the insert operation. And right click loop tool circle option. Rotate these faces. In this way, turn on the individual origin and adjust the scale. Then press Ctrl X to dissolve these edges and try to align these faces. And there are 12 words. So snap 3D cursor to it. And then shift image add a cylinder. Add a 12 word cylinder and then scale down it like this. Now select the spaces and just try to match the edges in this way then select these two objects and shift to use the boolean operation difference then apply the boolean modifier delete the cutter object now select these faces and delete them select this edge loop and right click bridge edge loop then select this face loop and extrude it along the normal then scale it along the Z axis. Then select this edge loops and control D add bevel on them. Then select everything, mesh and symmetry. So take the symmetry along the X axis and Y axis. And then hit the control 2 to add the sub D modifier and shade smooth it. And you will get this kind of design. Shift D to duplicate it and rotate it into 180 degree angle. In this way, you can create this kind of simple looking design. You can see the form. You can see the topology. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye. See you next video. Take care.